Discussion, corrections, or additions to the meeting? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Uh, minutes are approved. Before you have a bill, claims, payments, and transfers. And I believe there's no late list. So I need a motion on that. I make a motion. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Larry. Discussion. Any discussion on the bills? Claims, payments, and transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Okay. Uh, sort of under bills and claims, but not exactly. We're working to do uh, more functions, and uh, we need, uh, we're gonna do a, uh, uh, a dinner, appreciation dinner for the first responders next February, around Valentine's Day. And uh, that's not the only thing we need them for, but we're needing tables and chairs. And our proposal is we're gonna buy those tables and chairs and in a trailer that we already have, they'll be stored there in a dry uh, pull the trailer, and they can be used where we need them. And uh, I think it's a great idea. 35 chairs, 100, uh, I mean, 35 tables, 160 chairs, uh, uh, 7,146 dollars and 10 cents. Um, so, uh, so that's what that's where we're at. We want to do it. It will let us. If there's no objections, it'll be on the bills and claims for the next meeting. We'll already have POs out. Which which trailer are we going to use? Is that going to be the stage trailer or? No, 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 no. We got to use it for stage. Right. It's one that emergency management used to have. They kind of get all kinds of stuff out there, and we took it from them, and to put new tires on it. And, and and it's uh it's out back now sitting by the it's sitting out behind the parking lot now. So it's gonna be designated only for this. Yeah, for reason. chairs and tables. Did, uh, did, you know, one question I had, I like I think we probably did because there's things that we need chairs, but uh, um, the we when Bess and them set up at the high school and stuff like that, where do their chairs and tables come from? She does has to hunt for them, so that's something that could. That's be used. to say because elections, we're always using yeah. tables and chairs up through there, there and are, they could be used. There are times at the oh, park yeah. that we've had larger groups want to do something, and it's our thinking that the park would be able to rent them out also. Um, at the Monroe, the museum, they have events there that they could use these at. Ours um, definitely be updated. I think when we, I mean, I. I talked to him about it. I, there are a lot of several things we could use. I'm, I tell you what, uh, I said we're going on. I tell you what, let's go ahead and make a motion so she can pay for them, write the check when she gets them. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Larry. Any further discussion? I'll you got the motion. Check. You got the motion. Yeah. I'll pay for it. Any discussion? Being that all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. The POs. I've authorized them here, and I'm leaving them with the uh, Thank you. Uh, 
Yes. Where you get the matters. Uh, uh, what's the name of that company? Uh, Sam's. Sam's Club. They are, uh, what brand is that? Life, life, life? Yeah. Life time. Life time. Life They're heavy duty. They are. Yeah. We actually, we still have a sample here, don't we? Yes. We, we bought a bunch for the They're school the, not too long ago. That we've used them for everything. Yep. Um, Kirk's not here. I uh, don't see her anyway. But she has a gift. She, we just need to acknowledge we got her, uh, September report. How many dollars do we got? Jason. Or September. Second, second bye -bye. Uh, Any discussion? Big none all in favor say aye. Aye. Hold like sound, motion pass. Sheriff's quarterly report. He's not here either. <laughs> Yeah. I'm looking at a copy of it, so I guess I'll acknowledge we received it. Okay. Motion by Jason. Second by Bob. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay, I wish the sheriff was here on this next one. His franchise settlement. Yeah, but we actually do approve that subject dog. No, we don't have it. You need motion? Yes. So Motion by Larry. Approve the subject Do I have a second? Second. Second by Bible. All in favor say aye. 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 Close like sign. Motion passed. I'm sorry I didn't ask for uh, I didn't ask for uh, discussion. Next comes the uh, entertainment. John Gaither and David Woods is going to come up and sing for us. <laughs> I don't know about that, Judge. <laughs> David, you can come up with him if you want to. Uh, my name is John Gage, for those of you that don't know me. Uh, I am currently the uh, chairman of the airport board here in Ohio County. I uh, just wanted to come before the fiscal court tonight and just give you a little rundown of what we were doing at the airport. What we've done over the past couple of years, I've been on the board for about three years now. I've been the chairman for about a year and a half. Uh, when I came on the board, we had some uh, issues that were that were in the process. Uh, COVID kind of slowed some things down for everyone, as well as the airport. Uh, over the last several months, we've uh, been able to accomplish a few things out there. So, uh, how many of you have been at the airport in the last six months? Okay. How many have come in the hangar? In the office in the airport in the last six months. All right, I'm gonna, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to invite you guys out to fiscal court. I'd like to invite you out there. We're going to show you around. Um, I'd like to have a little open house for you at some point in the future. We'll coordinate with, with, that, you know, with your schedules. But we want you to see what's going on out there. The airport is growing. It's getting busier. Uh, Mr. Woosley has been at the, the, uh, the maintenance form there running the shop, running the FBO, the fixed base operator at the airport for many years now. Uh, the airport's getting a lot busier. Uh, we've received some grant funding from state and federal grants over the last several years. Uh, one thing I want to talk to you about is an ongoing hangar project that was started here. Uh, and you can refresh me with the 2018 when that first started. It's been a long time. Okay, Ms. so Ms. Heron was here then. I think. I'm sorry. Miss Heron was the chair. Yeah, and we was here. So uh, that started about 2018. Uh, there were some issues with some, with some land surveys, some land swaps, and things like that. During the COVID situation, that slowed things down quite a bit. We finally got that taken care of. Uh, we were able to uh, rebid the project. The project bids came in way over bid, so the state agreed to take, or wanted to table that for a while. The state has since that time come back and looked at it. They've agreed to reopen it now. They're going to let us rebid the project, and the state's going to fully fund that for us. Uh, the airport is going to add in a little bit of the money that we got from some grants last year during COVID to match that. So we're going to be able to uh, build 10 new tea hangers. Uh, the bids are going to go out soon, so we'll be doubling the size of our tea hangers on the airport. Hopefully, we'll be finished sometime at the end of 2024 with that project. Uh, we obtained state funding last year. We have not had a Jet A fuel tank. Uh, for those of you not familiar with aviation, there are two different, two basic kinds of gas. There's uh, AV gas, 100 low lead for like airplanes, uh, like small sessions and things like that. For helicopters, bigger uh, turboprop airplanes, there's uh, uh, Jet A. We have not had a Jet A tank at the airport for several years now. Uh, we did uh, uh, come up with some state funding. They fully funded the product. The tank is set. Uh, we'll probably pump our first Jet A tomorrow. Wow. We received word that there's a large business, King Air, 
airplane that's coming in tomorrow from out of state. They can't fly into a Bowling Green, so they want to come into our airport. They're going to buy gas from us, and they're going to, they're going to use the airport van to travel to Bowling Green since they can't fly in there. So, uh, as you all know, with the opening of the distillery, the airport's become kind of a hub out there for the distillery traffic. A lot of the people with the distillery have come in now at the airport, so we're getting busier. Uh, since I come on, came on the board a few years ago, the board has become very active. We looked at ways to try to save money for the airport. Uh, one thing that we did was we went back and looked at some of the old phone bills. Uh, the airport was getting charged about $670 a month for phone service at the airport. Uh, we've cut that down to one phone line now, and we've cut that by about $7,000 a year. So we've, we've cut that back quite a bit and can kind of attest to that. We looked at some other things. We installed, through a federal grant project, we installed all new runway lights a couple of years ago. They're all LED lights. That has saved the airport and some power and property. We've uh, worked out an arrangement with a contract with some local farmers. They're cutting hay off the airport property now. They're also taking care of mowing the inside fence area of the airport, except what's right next to the runways themselves. We still have to pay for that. Those costs have gone up a substantial over the last few years, but we're still doing okay with that. Uh, another thing that we've been very cognizant of and looking at are our fuel prices. Uh, in the past, uh, I think that they, they would set a price and let it go for months and months and months and never rearrange those prices. But each week we get a, a, a survey or a, a price on our fuels. We've tried to adjust our fuels accordingly to make sure that we're not losing money on our fuel costs. And uh, over the past several times we've bought fuel, we have not had to use any of the funds. We've just used our fuel funds. So the airport is, is uh, becoming much more uh, sustainable on itself. We've become much more responsible, I think, with the way we're handling the thing, uh, our funds out there. Uh, we have a couple of projects that we also have funding coming up for. We have a ramp expansion. Currently, we don't have that much parking at the airport. We're going to be receiving some state and federal grant funding that's going to allow us to uh, enlarge the parking areas for additional airplanes at the airport out there. So uh, all these projects are going on over the next 12 to, to 24 months. So hopefully, we've got a new Jet A tank. Hopefully, by the end of 2024, we'll have 10 new T hangers and a bigger ramp space to park some airplanes. But uh, we redid the uh, inside the airport. One of our board members, uh, through one of his business associates, was able to get some paint donated. We have painted the whole inside of the, the terminal out there. We were able to uh, clean and buff the, the floors. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. We still need to replace some tiles. We're going to be doing that in the near future, hopefully, if uh, we, you know, we're trying to be good with our funding, so we're going to watch that. But we just want you to know that the airport is trying to become a very functional part of the county and the community. We're very proud of it. We get a lot of comments from people that fly in and stop by about how they like the airport, how nice it is, some of the things we've done. Uh, with David's help, the maintenance shop is staying extremely busy. We have airplanes coming from all over the country to be worked on here in Ohio County. So I just wanted to thank the fiscal court for your past support. I thank you for your support now and in the future. I just wanted to give you an update and invite you to any time that you want to come to the airport, let us know. We'll be glad to show you around, give you a tour. We'll even arrange for a plane ride for you. All right. Thank you. Uh, John, do y'all still, uh, or David, do y'all still provide the, the chocks and the ropes for anybody that's there a little while to tie down? Yes, sir. Okay. There are chocks and there are, are tie down ropes right now. Okay. Right now, we only have a couple of hangar space or a couple of tie down spaces available. That's why this ramp space is going to be important for us, the ramp expansion, to give us additional tie downs for people to want tie their planes out overnight and stay for a few days. Okay. Any other questions I can answer for anybody? You gonna have us anything to eat when we come out there? We can arrange that too. You just let us know. We'll, we'll, make, sure, we'll make sure you got a little something to snack on. Actually, our, our pilot's lounge in the back, uh, we had some vending machines there. Some of the vending machines uh, were, were kind of, uh, had reached their, the end of their prime life. So we've done away with vending machines now. and We've redone the pilot's lounge in the back. We put in some newer furniture. We put in a nice little uh, counter space back there. We have a microwave and a small refrigerator. We keep some drinks. We keep some small, just light snacks, uh, crackers, candy bars, some little things like that back in the back for the pilots when they stop in. If we get air medical crews that come in in the middle of the night, we've had some air medical crews that have been stranded there through the night for whatever reasons. But it gives them something just to snack on. It's not a, it's not a meal, but we can arrange a meal for you guys if you want to come out. Uh, sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, and we are working up on the little issues you talked to Ann about. I'm going to put Charlie on it and we'll get him on the 
Great. Yeah. Thank you. We'll great. make it happen. Yeah. It'll, it'll happen. Very good. Thank you all. Yeah. Well, we got it. You're going to do it. Okay. Yep. Make sure you do it. So you folks say yes and then ask why. That's less than sort of right there. It's there Okay. Uh, this is in uh, Michael's uh, uh, district, but I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, we have a road called Mosley Road that butts up to uh, McCann, McManahan Road in uh, Davis County. They come together at the county line, McManahan quits and Mosley starts on our side. Well, we paid Mosley real good. But the county line where we thought it was was seven, uh, Davis County thought it was 700 feet to their side of that blacktop from where we thought it was. And I guess we actually didn't think they'd notice it and go ahead and pay it. But they, <laughs> but they did. They caught on. And, and so uh, we, we want to go ahead and get them to finish that. Uh, when they're blacktop and they're in, they're going to do that 700 foot for us be a whole lot less than we could ever do it from uh, anything else. This will be road money, and it's from, uh, uh, it'll be, uh, uh, well, we have an interlocal agreement. It's uh, $8,000 for 700 feet. And we have to do it with them so they can do it. We've got it called the interlocal agreement. It's in your packet, I think, yes, in your packet. The only thing, Judge, I would note that on the interlocal agreement, we will have to send that. I think Davis County sent this to us. Yeah. Uh, we will have to send that to uh, the state for approval also since it is an interlocal agreement. Yeah. It goes to the Attorney General's office, actually, I believe. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what department now that they have that under, but it may be the Attorney General. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, because uh, I was, we was done one, one night when the governor <coughs> was here, and he said, I used to prove those mm -hmm. when I was Attorney General. When we did the one with the three counties for the uh, jail thing, yeah. so I think that's where it goes. But anyhow, it'll be it'll go back for uh, Davis County Fiscal Court approved, then it'll go for it to be approved by the state. So, Michael, it's your road. You want to make a motion? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we go ahead and finish Mosley Road to 700 feet along the Ohio County Fiscal Court. Second by Larry Murphy. You got it. Okay. It just, it, the, the motion just needs, it's actually 690 when I looked at the contract, but I mean, so the motion just reflects the 690 probably. Yeah, 691. Okay, 700 is a good round off of. Oh, yeah. Uh, so is there any discussion? Being on all favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like so. The resolution is passed. When we send that to Davis County, make sure that you ask them to meet up to the other pavement. They, yeah. They had just measured the 691. Yeah, it, it's to go to the other pavement. I'd have to it. And I'm kidding about us moving. I used to say when we tried to move the county lines and get a little more out of them, but we really didn't. It was just an honest mistake. Uh, Miranda, you're up. I've got a spay and neuter grant that I've been approved for. Um, the contract is in your packets there, and I just need to put it on the court so I can take care of it. To authorize me to sign. Yeah. Nothing is new we've done in the it? past. Is it the total amount, or how do we? Uh, so we're paying seven hundred worth of it, mm -hmm. and they are giving us the three thousand. Um, so it's kind of like a whoever gets the most will most likely get the money. You know what I mean? And we can really use it. I know our um, shelter is overflowing, and people really don't want to come adopt when they have the added fees. So this will help go towards that. If somebody comes in and wants to adopt an animal, it'll help cover the fee. Yeah. You know? yeah no. I, I think the part that we're covering actually might be recouped of what they How many would, so that would give us 3,000, we'll do 700, how many, how many animals? Oh, uh, I think we were looking at about 30. 30. It's a lot. It's a like 170-something, I believe, uh, now per okay. animal. So, and I know, I know that sometimes they're willing to work with you depending on how many you bring it in. And are they just doing the ones in the, in the shelter right now? Yeah. Okay. 
do the ones that they need opted out. We okay, as the ones that are opted out, they yeah, do. We don't do them, just yeah. keep them in the schedule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion with Jason. Second. Second, Larry. Any other discussion? Being now, I'm afraid to say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, like sign. And motion does say I'll grab this sign. Yeah. Uh, I have one personnel issue, one hire for the senior center. Uh, this is for an open position. Uh, this is the position we're paying for out of ARPA funds up to four years, but part of that time's gone now. Uh, the, app, the person name is, is Robert Stone. He'll be $13.53 an hour. Level one, it's uh, actually uh, full time. How long do we have on those employees? Do we know the. The end of next year. The end of next year. It's been that long already. The end of next year. A year and a little bit. Okay. Roll call. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Well, we need to sit down and reevaluate those positions sometime soon, I guess, then, but it's tough. Probably should be the end of next year? Yeah, so next year's budget will so have to sit down and reevaluate them for a Budget time will have to look at it a little bit. Okay, what was the two things I had at the committee I was going to talk about? Memorandum of business meeting and then Mrs. Okay. Any of you that's on the uh, wage scale committee need to meet at 4 o'clock at the next meeting? which is uh, November 14th at 4 o'clock, Wage Scale Committee. It's Wage and Scale and Administrative and Administrative Code. code. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've got an admin code thing to look at, too. And uh, Bo Bennett and uh, Kenneth Callaway are both on that. Jason Bullock. I'm on that. That's why I said so, didn't I? And Jason Bullock. Yeah. Well, they had your name bigger, three times they said. Okay. Yours in all capitals. So you must be special on I get 1.5 of them instead of just one vote. Okay. But be sure to come for that. Yeah. And I guess the other one was some chairs we've already taken care of, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I got to add some people to a couple of committees here, too. Um, he's agreed to it. I've added uh, Bo Bennett to the uh, admin code committee, which I said me. And uh, the... Uh, Adding him right now? Or? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you want to make a motion? No, I don't have to. Just make a point. I don't okay. vote on it. Do you want to? Yeah. Form it? Just that he's added to the committee. Okay. And then also, the uh, Solid Waste Committee has not made a report for a long time. In December, Charlie won't you to make a report. And uh, David Hines and Kenneth Callaway's on that committee. So you call them. They haven't heard from y'all a long time. So they need to do that. There's a lot of garbage we got to pick up. But I will. Uh, okay. The uh, community center committee hasn't uh, met for a while. Or did you? Y'all need to meet again and make a report. You know, on the heat and air, H factor. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got that. Uh, we're, we are next court meeting. You're going to make your report. Right, so the the second meeting. court meeting in November, I think, so this we one. We only have oh, one. there's only one? On the 14th. Well. So you make it then or first of December? Right? I'll get with Bo then on that. Don't get beyond that. Make your recommendation. Uh, we got it. Yeah. And, uh, don't, don't give us the price until Ann goes for her cardiac checkup before we, before no, we go to the price of that. <clears throat> she didn't think it was funny. All right, well, that's that's all I have on committees. So other committees to report that have met. Any committees that have met that wants to report? I have one, David. Okay. So the um, broadband committee, uh, we met 
uh, this past let's see, Monday on the 16th. Uh, we actually didn't have anyone uh, join us except for with Spectrum, which David and I had spoke with Carla Sandusky uh, a couple of weeks back. She had Dalton join us via video call for that meeting. They shared some mapping with us that was uh, not completely finished, but it showed the regions in which they're going to be serving new customers. Uh, they will have complete maps and possible um, construction dates for us after the first of the year. Uh, we've reached out to Kennedy, Warren Rule, and KU to see any kind of uh, projects that they may be wanting to entertain and more customers that will be, be uh, serviced from the, from the broadband side. Um, Kinergy, I know, hasn't gave us any maps, but I was able to see some maps uh, a couple of months ago in Louisville, um, and it looks very promising that Ohio County is going to be um, getting more uh, broadband service to customers that in the past haven't had any. Uh, the committee has started compiling a list of questions to uh, ask each entity so that we can get on the same page as far as the productivity and the, the project timeline as far as when uh, construction will start and then maybe when we can see customers coming online to be able to get this service. Really don't have anything else at this time, but it was a productive meeting and right. uh, Spectrum looks like they're on the ball as far as uh, meeting the needs that we've asked them for. I, I sure appreciate you guys doing that. And Maybe at least you'll get some answers. That, and whenever we get something official, we'll give it out to the office when we call in and ask. Uh, I think Helen's 100% served now. Helen is, uh, Ken Energy put mine in last Friday. They were working in the Narrows, Narrows area for people. Um, I can say right now it's better than what I've had. Uh, it's actually faster than Spectrum we have at the ambulance service. So um, I'm one very happy person. Well, we, we reached out to Kennergy. They didn't attend our meeting, but we're compiling a list of questions to, to maybe get a better idea of when they're going to start serving more customers. They, I know they're coming up 69. At, uh, last week they were at Roseville coming this way from Hancock County. Um, somehow or another, when the ice storm hit, according to what I was told, when the ice storm hit, it took out most of the trees in our area around Fordsville and a lot of the light posts so they had they had already replaced them so they didn't have much they had to do up there some of the other places they've had other stuff they have to do uh, but uh, I know over on Budbine Road uh, Jerry Darney got his yesterday um, and I talked to my sister <coughs> on Hancock came day she said she hadn't got hers yet but it's coming that direction so I have a question is that hardwired fiber or is, are you using wireless it's wireless what they did was they put it on my light pole outside. They came in and put it on the outside of my home. And the little fellow that done it was actually from Vietnam. He loves Kentucky. <laughs> I heard that a lot. Um, and then Friday night at about 530, 515, um, a Hispanic <coughs> guy came in and he put it in the house. And I said, so you're going to run it around the house? We run it through the house. I said, no, uh-uh. So he, I had him put it in the kitchen because I didn't, I didn't know how he was going to run the wire, you know. And but it's a living off the wire that they brought him, drilled a hole. <coughs> this, uh, that wide in my home, <laughs> very small, and run it through, and everything is sitting on my kitchen counter. But it's fiber out to the pole, so it's fiber right? to the house. Fiber then, to the house, yes. And then, okay, and then you're using oh, okay. wireless inside your home. Yes. Okay. Yep. And they provided all that. I have a box on the wall that's not very big, and then I have what I call a cracker box. It's not as tall as a cracker box and not as wide. And then I have a, a I guess, a router. Yeah. And it's, and it's, you take two of these cell phones, that's about what it is. All right. And then I was going to just stop for a second there and ask us if he was at that meeting. Did, did I cover most everything that you yeah, like to uh, add? The thing, the thing that we, we got to see some maps of the things that of the areas that Spectrum has already highlighted that they're going to 
these are the areas that they have funding for. And the one thing, and this wasn't in the meeting, I mentioned it in the meeting, but I actually spoke with Carla Sandusky and she said, technically they have, going by what they have fully, you know, funded right now, they have six years to get it done. But she told me they have a timeline. They're, everything they have funding for right now, they intend on having done by the end of next year. Okay. So now they have longer, but that goes back to, you know, assuming no one slows them up right. for any reason. Sounds but great. yeah, so yeah. I appreciate you serving on that too, Dust. Appreciate the vote. Any other committee reports? Thank you, Michael. Uh, okay, we're going to go to the magistrate's uh, comments and requests, and we'll start with you on that, Mike. Uh, no comments or requests from the first district at this time. Thank you, David. Okay, and Jason. Now, I, I will say that I went to the uh, the open house there for Western Country Distillery. It's a really nice um, addition to Wild County. It was uh, Dave was there. So I'm really glad that they're with us. It was a really nice night. Yeah, uh, no comments or requests from third district at this time. Uh, I have none, Judge. Justin? No, thank you, Judge. Any other staff got anything? Anybody? Oh, you have? You don't? Okay. No, I'm good. We don't do it. Uh, anybody in the, uh, in the uh, audience got anything for the uh, good of the body? Anybody else got anything for the good of the body? We'll say? If, if not, we're adjourned. We'll be back here for committee meetings at four on the 14th and the meeting at five. Thank you, gentlemen.